Hey everybody, it's Lisa from the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbie Hangout Group. I'm one of the admins on the page. I keep seeing lots of posts about how to arch or curve words in the Silhouette software. It's actually pretty easy when I show you how to do it. You'll be like, duh! But if somebody doesn't show you, it's hard to kind of figure that out. First thing I want you to do is go in and type in your word. We're going to use the word curve. Okay. Change whatever font you want. Make whatever size you want. Okay. Then you're going to come over here to this left-hand toolbar. If you guys haven't set up your preferences and don't know what things are on the toolbar, head over to the YouTube page. Um, I have videos on how to set up your preferences, make life a little easier for you, and what some of the toolbar meanings are. We're going to come down and use the ellipse because that's going to allow us to make a circle. Click on it. Draw your circle or your ellipse. Now, my, my preferences are set up differently, so everything fills in for me, so I'll make it look like yours, okay? Bring this over to wherever your word is. So the key is double click, and I'm sure you've double clicked on this, but you've not paid attention to the four-way arrow. Left click and hold that little four-way arrow down and drag it to the shape that's whatever you have, circle, square. Now watch the magic. See how that happens? The other thing you can do is if you've ever seen this little slider here, you can either bring it in more or bring it further away from the circle. You can also double click on your circle or whatever it is, click once actually, you can make, make it bigger or smaller. Okay, another thing you do when you double click on it, you get your four-way arrows, you can bring it around, you can bring it inside, so you can do lots of things with it and you can click on this little slider here. So some people are asking how to get the curve on the bottom, that's how you would do that. Okay, so I'm going to bring mine back up to the top. Well, it likes to be there. Either way, it's going to work. So I'm going to bring it back out because I slid it in. Okay. Now, how you get this to save, like right now, if I try and move anything, it moves the shape with it. So I want you to left click to select everything or even just your font. Right click, ungroup it, pull your circle out, highlight, right click, group. And that's how you do that to make your arch or your curved words in Silhouette software. So it's just a matter of playing with it. Like I said, you can do a square. Change mine the way it looks like yours. Type in a word. Um, I'll type in my hometown. How's that? I guess it's a little bigger. So I do a square. Bring this up here. Double click it. Watch what this will do. See how you can do it? So there's lots of options that you can do things with, okay? Um, also, you wanna draw a polygon, which it hates me, but, so you can do that and do the same thing and it'll do the same thing on that, okay? If you have any questions, give me a yell. Um, I am Lisa, one of the admins out there. You can check us out. We have a YouTube channel. You can look for Lisa Faber or Kylan Streno, and it'll pop up for our group. If you guys need any help, just yell. Thanks.